Hello everyone, hello uh, Bricks, those of you who are part of the Red Brick Church or those who are looking for a church home, here's the question for today. This is a question to think about. How do people change? How do people get better? How can we grow and make improvements in the Christian life? This is a question I've been wrestling with for a long time. In fact, uh, just this week, uh, I'm completing my 29th year of pastoral ministry, and very early on as a pastor, I was vexed, I, pu I puzzled over this question, why is it that I have young people who sincerely decide that they want to make progress in life, that they want to get better, maybe they want to have a better relationship with their parents, or they want to do better uh, as students, or they want to be more, more pure in their thought life or something like this. They would make those decisions and that yet, yet I would see them very frustrated by their lack of results. And you know, that's vexing for the Christian because we know that the person who is a follower of Christ, who has been born again of the Holy Spirit, has the power of the Holy Spirit at work in his or her life. So if the power that spoke all things into existence is at work in our lives, why sometimes do we struggle so much to make progress? That's what we want to focus on beginning August 21st, continuing into September, considering how it is that we can grow in the power of the Holy Spirit. So if you're frustrated by your lack of progress, uh, maybe from everything from your physical diet or how disciplined you are with eating or entertainment, or maybe you're more irritable than you should be, or more anxious than you should be. This is a series uh, that you'll want to be a part of. We're going to understand how it is that we can grow in the, in the power of the Holy Spirit. And a lot of what Christians are so many times doing is just trying to grow in their own strength. So your job, uh, Bricks, is to be prayed up, uh, to be praying that God would use the preaching of the word and to be prepared to receive the word. And of course, uh, my job is to make sure that I've studied, that I've, I've prayed, that I'm not relying on my own wisdom, but on the truth that Jesus gave that he promised uh, would set us free. So I'm prayerfully looking forward to this, and I pray that you will be there as well. God bless.